our person of the week. On Monday, in a sense, he won the lottery for the second time. He's a young designer who twice studied Michelle Obama, twice dreamed the way she should look, and twice she agreed. Ladies and gentlemen, my better half, Michelle Obama. There it was, that red dress, created for the first lady by a 30-year-old named Jason Wu. He was once just a little boy growing up in Taiwan who was not like the other kids. His family was traditional, but his parents understood that genius is rarely like everyone else. So I begged my mother to get me a sewing machine, and uh, so she got me a sewing machine for Christmas. I think having parents who understood that was a blessing, it is a blessing, because otherwise I probably would have just become a misunderstood child. He was nine years old when he moved to Canada, learning English by reading fashion magazines, and he must have created baffled looks when his first two words in English were the name of a supermodel. It was Stephanie Seymour. <laughs> it was. And then four years ago, the brand new designer took a chance. He sent a dress to the unusual woman about to become first lady. I looked up every single photo of her, and, and I, I really studied her posture, her preferences. He spent hour after hour trying to capture who she was. He knew she moved like an athlete, so the dress had to move. It was white, and she was young, so it was studded with surprise. The skies above are blue. In that moment, Jason Wu became a certified superstar. But believe it or not, four years later, last Monday, he was in New York and didn't know until she walked out that he had chosen the dress he dreamed for her once again. And I really wanted the vision of confident, commanding presence. Two people, two surprising success stories in America. Say that she has changed my life is truly an understatement. <laughs> two people, but one message, whatever you dream, you can be. Someone in this room could be the next Jason Wu. Someone in this room could be the next Barack Obama. And so we choose Jason Wu, who said he's so grateful to be part of American history.